All right, so we're going to catch you guys up on what we've been doing. We bought a few things. We bought a good pipette. We were using some crap ones, and the measurements would come out kind of hit and miss. We were using eyedroppers. They're terrible. So we bought that. We have a magnetic stirrer. Stirring stuff gets annoying. It takes too long. Got a good scale. And we're going to be using Hain sea salt. It's delicious. And the line that we're going to be starting off with is High Seas Grand Slam Monofilament Line with a diameter of 0.8 millimeters and it's 60 pound test. We picked this because you can see it pretty good. It's not clear. All right, you go up there. So the first thing we did is we took the pipette and we tested the density of distilled water. We put this on one milliliter and our measurements came out. We did seven measurements and we averaged those seven out. I don't know if this is, I don't know if you can see that. So we got 1.016, 1, 4, 1, 1, 23, 14, and 10, 24. They averaged out to 1.016. So that's about where it should be for distilled water. It has a little bit of minerals in it, so it's it's off a little bit, but it doesn't matter. Uh, so the first thing we did is we wanted to find the max mixture of salt we could put in water, how much salt we could add before it just started settling on the bottom. So we put roughly 50 milliliters of salt into 100 milliliters of tap water. We stirred that for a long time and we let it sit. We did notice settling on the bottom so we knew that it was the max density we could mix in. So we took measurements of that. If you can see right here, took seven measurements. We averaged those out. We got an average of 1.212 for the density of that mixture. So the next thing we did is we took, I'll skip that for now here. We did three more measurements. We did, this was distilled water. The first one we used tap water because we just used hot tap water, hoping it would mix better. But it came out the same as room temperature distilled water. So now that we knew the max amount of salt we can mix in, what its density would be, 1.212, we wanted to kind of scale down from there and see when we started getting close to our strings density, which we'll get to the strings density here in a second. So the first one we did was 50 milliliters of distilled water and 25 grams of salt. We stirred that for a while and we came out on that one. We had an average density of 1.212. So that one maxed out also. We had settling on the bottom of the, of the jar here. The next one we did was 50 milliliters of distilled water with 20 grams of salt. We mixed that for a long time. We took seven measurements. And we also maxed out our density on that. So we hit 1.212, basically, if you round up. We had a settling on the bottom, so we knew we had too much salt. So the next one we did, we had a small, a beaker smaller than that, so we had to scale it by half. So we did 25 milliliters of distilled water to 7.5 grams of salt, which is basically 50 milliliters of distilled water to 15 grams of salt. And that one did not hit the max density. So we actually started to fully mix our salt in our water, and we started to come down. So the density of those seven measurements on average was 1.1814. And by those, we knew where we would get to, to where we would mix in salt, and it would just start settling. We couldn't mix anymore. So 1.212 was the most dense we could make the water with the salt. So now we needed to determine the density of the line we were going to be using. So... We started off with 30 centimeters of line, and we drop it. And density, we use mass over volume. So if you can see our equations on here, pi r squared times the length, or height. And this is going to come out in cubic centimeters. So on the first measurement of the density of the string, we did 30 centimeters of line. We came out with a density of 1.147. And if you want to see the whole number, this one here. Next thing we did was took half that. We took 15 centimeters of string, and we did the density on that. It should come out the same. It's the same string. So when we came out with the density on that, it was 1.1406. Had a little bit of a difference. 
So that could just be we cut it a little too short or maybe slight differences in the string or our scale. So we doubled the 30 centimeters up to 60 centimeters and checked the density of the string on that. We came out a little higher on this one. The density was 1.1605. So we took all three of those measurements and we came out with an average density of the string of 1.149. So what we're going to be doing now is now that we know the density of our string, we know the maximum density we can bring the water to. We can bring the water to 1.212. We need the water to come down to 1.149, which is the density of our string. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some mixtures. We're going to be doing these. We're going to do 50 milliliters salt, or 50 milliliters of distilled water, sorry. 50 milliliters of distilled water in all four of these, and we're going to work our way down with grams of salt. So in the first one, we're going to do 13 grams of salt. We're going to find the density of that 12 grams, 11 grams, 10 grams. And hopefully, at some point in there, we will fall on the high side of the density of the string and the low side of the density of the string. So we'll have a rough estimate of how much salt we need to get to the upper density of the string and just a little bit above and to the lower and just a little bit below. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and we'll speed that up probably because it's going to take a second. It's a little tedious. So the first thing we're going to do is 50 milliliters of distilled water in all four of these. So let's do it. This thing's a little finicky. It was a little weird to figure out how to use it, but we know how to use it now. At first we were using it wrong, but not anymore. We have 50 milliliters of distilled water in all four of those. And the next thing we're going to do is add the salt. We'll be right back. All right, so we have 50 milliliters of water in each of those. Had to get a drink, Pepsi, the drink of scientists. Sorry, Rogan, I forgot my white lab coat. All right, so the next thing we're going to be doing is adding the salt into the 50 milliliter mixtures. So we've got our salt in our mixtures. And what we're going to do now, we'll label and stir. So it's going to be a while. We'll be back. Drop one. Stirs. All right. We'll be back in a minute. So we're back. We've had our mixture stirring all day, on and off. And we're going to start with the 10 grams of salt. We're going to weigh one milliliter. I'm going to weigh it seven times and then take the average of those seven measurements. Do the same for the 11, 12, and 13. So let's take this off. I'm going to go ahead and pop 11 on. And we're going to take seven measurements. So we're going to speed this up also.
Okay, let's average those densities and we'll be back. So it looks like we did find a density that is higher than our lines density and a density that is lower than our lines density. So here are the densities of the four solutions. The first one, 50 milliliters of distilled water and 13 grams of salt. We averaged out, I'll show you guys, 1.1618. On the second one, it was 50 milliliters of distilled water and 12 grams of salt. Our average was 1.1525. On the third one, 50 milliliters of distilled water, 11 grams of salt. We got 1.1418. And on the last one, 50 milliliters of distilled water, 10 grams of salt. We got an average of 1.136. So our string density averaged out from the three tests we did at 1.1494. So it looks like we should be able to get our string to float in the 12 gram mixture. And our string should sink in the 10 gram mixture. The 11 gram mixture, it's very close. On that one, our average for the salt water mixture was 1.1418, and our string density is 1.1494. So it'd be interesting to see what that one does. So we're gonna go ahead and get all three of those. We're gonna drop the string in and see what happens. Okay, so hopefully we can see this. What we're gonna do now is drop the string into each mixture and observe what happens. So first we're gonna do the 10 gram salt mixture. Okay, it's sunk in the 10 gram. Now the 11. It also sunk in the 11 gram for the 12. It's floating in the 12 gram and now for the 13. It's also floating in the 13 gram mixture. So what we observed today our average string density was 1.1494. We had four mixtures of distilled water and salt. We had 13 grams of salt to 50 milliliters, 12 grams to 50, 11 grams to 50, and the 10 grams. So the average density of the 10 gram solution was 1.1360. The average density of the 11 gram solution was 1.1418. The average density of the 12 gram solution, 1.1525. The average density of the 13 gram solution was 1.1618. We dropped the string, which density is 1.1494, into each mixture. Now when the density of the string is higher than the density of the mixture, it's going to sink. And we observed it sink in the 10 gram mixture and the 11 gram mixture. And it floated in the 12 gram mixture and the 13 gram mixture. So somewhere between 11 grams of salt to 50 milliliters of distilled water and 12 grams of salt to 50 milliliters of distilled water is neutral buoyancy. So what we can do with these numbers now is bring these closer to neutral buoyancy to reduce error, but we still want to be higher than neutral buoyancy and lower so we can get our sag both ways and verify that our line is straight when we do this. And we can also scale this up and see if it stays the same. And we'll be testing all this in the future. Let's do it. All right, we're gonna test the breaking point of our string, 60 pound test. I don't know if you can see that, 58 degrees outside Fahrenheit. And we've got our scale teared out to zero. We're in pounds. I'm already bleeding a little bit, so let's try this. Ready? Is it on there? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go. Okay, let's try it again.
All right, that's enough of that. In conclusion, we found two mixtures that produced the desired results. In the 11 gram mixture, the string sank, and in the 12 gram mixture, the string floated. And we can use these two measurements to get more precise mixtures to where it's just above neutral buoyancy and just below neutral buoyancy. And what we're trying to do is to measure just above neutral buoyancy in one measurement and just below in the other. And if both of those Sigita measurements are the same, we can verify that our string is straight relative to itself. And if we can make a string that is straight relative to itself, we can measure in the middle of that string and get a Sigita measurement that will help us determine if the surface for standing water is convex or flat. Also what we did by doing it this way, as we've stated in the previous video, this eliminates atmospheric refraction and the effects of gravity. And also we went outside, it was a nice day, we broke some string just to see where it broke at. In the next video, we hope to make a working model, about 10 foot long maybe, to see and kind of visualize what we're going to do. And we'll try to get more precise measurements on our mixtures and get closer to neutral buoyancy. And we might even try to hit neutral buoyancy and see how long we can get our string to stay in a state of suspension. All right, see you next time.